The reason you're not going viral on TikTok right now is simply because you're posting content that's the wrong length, you're posting about the wrong topic, you're posting at the wrong time, and you're doing one other thing that I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video completely wrong, and that's probably the biggest thing that's stopping you from going viral right now. In fact, this creator just implemented all four of these tactics and was able to gain over 100,000 followers in just a 30-day period, and this creator was able to do the same thing, except they were able to gain over 200,000 followers in a 30-day period, and the same thing can happen to you if you simply implement the strategy that I share with you in this video. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're focusing on the three lengths of content, or more so, just the three trends when it comes to the length of content you should be creating. A lot of people underwrite this, so let me give you a perfect example here. So many of you just think, oh, I'm posting within my niche, but you need to go one step further than that, because there are people that watch fitness videos, but there are also people that watch five second fitness videos or 60 second fitness videos, and there are people that are in book talk, and there are people that watch 30 second videos in book talk, and 90 second videos in book talk, so you're probably wondering, Rob, well, how long should I actually create my content then? Well, there are three lengths that I would be focusing on right now. The first one is five to 12 seconds long. The second from 24 to 30 seconds long. And then finally, videos over 55 seconds long. But if you wanna get paid, I would make them 60 seconds long because TikTok is paying out way more money for videos over 60 seconds right now than videos under 60 seconds. And no, that doesn't mean that all of your content should just be over 60 seconds. You need to take it to step number two, which is going through and actually finding out what topic of content you should be creating because the topic that you choose is going to drastically change both one, the format of the content you're going to be creating, but then secondly, it's also going to change the length of content and which one of those slots you should be fitting your content into. But before I could share that with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it to pin comment below. It's going to tell you things like how the algorithm actually works and the best hashtags to use because if you mess up the hashtags, it might might also be the thing that stops you from going viral. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pin comment below and get into that right now. Now, when it comes to the actual topic you're gonna to be choosing, this is a three-step process and you need to make sure that you're implementing each step of this process because if you're not implementing these steps, it could be one of the things, again, that's holding you back. And I see so many creators just do step one or just do step two or just do step three. And every single time that you go to create a piece of content, you need to implement all three of these steps, which is exactly why you need to start with the topic of your actual content. Now, if you're a fitness creator or you're a finance creator or you're a real estate creator or you're a musician, there's so many different different topics that you can actually cover. But what I want you to do is go do a search on TikTok and see which ones get the most amount of views. So you might have three to five topics and you're gonna narrow them down to the top three that are going to be the best. Now, obviously, if you had three topics, you wouldn't be able to do that. So ideally, you might wanna have more than that. You might wanna have five to seven topics, and then you wanna narrow it down to the top three. Or maybe you have three and you realize that only one of them actually gets a lot of views and the other two were a waste of your time. So now you need to come up with new topics. But from there, now what you're gonna do is you need to actually look at the format and the length of each piece of content because there's going to be several different pieces of content that have done well under each of those topics. So now that you've narrowed down the top three topics, we need to narrow down the best lengths under those topics, but then also make note of the format. Was it a skit? Was it sludge content? Was it a duet? Was it a stitch? What was the actual format of that piece of content? Was it a talking head video? You need to actually be able to narrow that down so that you can create the best piece of content. Now we're gonna move on to the final stage, which is you actually creating that content. And I don't recommend that for each topic, you only do one post. You should actually do two, three, four different posts. And the reason for this is because you do not wanna make the mistake that you might have already made before or that so many other creators make on TikTok, which is they only go viral with one post. Instead of going viral with a single post, you wanna go viral with a series. So if you're gonna do a bunch of videos about the new Barbie movie, ideally one of them goes viral and it makes the other three go viral. And this is why you need to be actually creating series of content. Now, a lot of creators, especially small creators, say to themselves, I'm not going to do that because my audience is going to get bored. 99% of your audience is not gonna see all four posts and 99% of them aren't gonna remember that they saw another post by you. In fact, they might be happy that they saw another post by you and they're not gonna be mad by it. In addition to that, by you leveraging a series of content as opposed to just creating a single piece of content, three things can happen. One, it's going to lead to an increase in the odds that somebody actually ends up following you. Two, it's going to lead to TikTok pushing out your content to more people. And three, it's going to lead to you actually being able to establish yourself within your niche because people aren't just gonna see you once and forget about you. Ideally, they're gonna see two, three, four of your videos and that's gonna make them actually remember you. If you look at marketing studies, on average, people need to see a brand or see a 
basic product seven different times before they begin to remember it, which is exactly why you need to be creating that series so that people can see several pieces of content from you so that you actually get remembered. But none of that's going to work and it'll all be useless if you post at the wrong time. So here are the three best times to post on TikTok right now. The first one is from 10.30 a.m. to noon. The second, from 2 to 4.30 p.m. And then finally, from 7 to 11 p.m. Now, I do wanna warn you, there are two caveats here. First and foremost, the first slot and the last slot make the most posts go viral on TikTok. And secondly, those are each for your time zone. Now, if you want me to look at your account, like this creator that gained over 100,000 followers in 30 days, and this creator that gained over 200,000 in 30 days, so that I could tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and coach you through actually growing on TikTok. And best of all, if you don't grow in the 30 days that we coach together, you'll get your money back, zero questions asked. If that sounds interesting to you, well then please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last for forever. And the only two things holding you back from getting the followers that you deserve right now on TikTok and the followers that you want is one, you haven't implemented the steps that I share with you in this video to help you get more followers. And two, you haven't gotten into my TikTok mentorship program yet where I literally am going to guarantee that I help you get more followers in the next 30 days or you get your money back, zero questions asked. And the way that this works is I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more followers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting, and then please go to the link in the description below and get signed up right now. The average person that's gone through this program has gained over 50,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than 6,500 followers if they implemented everything that I share with them. And since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're above average. So the odds of you gaining over 50,000 followers is probably quite high. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is gonna help you get more results faster and easier. If you're struggling right now to grow on TikTok, you need to get into this because every single day that you wait, it's only going to get harder to grow. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more followers on TikTok or you're going to get your money back. In fact, this creator just went through this program and gained over 10 million followers. This creator over 14 million and this creator over 16 million. And I want you to be my next success story. So please stop procrastinating, invest in yourself now and get the TikTok followers that ultimately you deserve. Or I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.